everybody, welcome to the craft room and thanks for dropping by. We have some in stitches news briefs for you today, so we thought we'd put together a channel update video and inform you all as to what has been going on. We also wanted to say hello on a Thursday. <laughs> Firstly, Etsy.com is celebrating back to school with a sale and our Etsy shop will be taking part in it. So all of the crochet patterns in our shop will be on sale 15% off starting today, which is Thursday, August the 30th and running right through the weekend to Monday, September the 3rd. You don't need a coupon code or anything. If you head over to our shop, you'll see all of the pattern original prices and the little markdown price next to it. And if you want to check out the sale, you'll find a link to our shop in the description box down below. So if you want to get a jump start on your Christmas crochet or any kind of holiday crochet, or if you know someone who is jumping back into the swing of things and wants to learn how to crochet this fall, then tucking a couple of our patterns into that crochet gift basket it would be a big help not only to them but to us too. So if you want to check it out, the link's down below and we thank you very much for your support. Next, we discussed color, how to create palettes, how to use a color wheel, some of the terminology that is common and sometimes mystifying for people in our last live stream in Stitch's family crochet party. A lot of you were really interested in this information, so we're going to cobble together a little more of it in one place and put it up on our website. You'll find this on the tools page. Not today, but possibly by the end of today. Look for it before the end of the weekend. We will be updating the tools page on our website. You can check out our website. The link will be in the description box down below and it's easy to navigate. All of the individual pages are listed across the top when you get there. And speaking of InStitch's family crochet parties, our next live stream that we will be hosting will be this coming Monday, September the 3rd, which is Labor Day at five o'clock Eastern. So we've backed it up a couple of hours on a Monday afternoon so that everybody in the UK can hopefully catch us. I know it's a little late there when we do it on a seven o'clock uh, Eastern here in Ontario on a typical Monday, but since it's a holiday, we're going to back it up a couple hours. So it'll be five o'clock Eastern. That's Ontario, Canada time. That's our next live stream right here on our YouTube channel. Bring your current whip, bring a beverage, and we hope to see you there. And last but not least, I have a personal whip update for you. <laughs> I have finished my rainbow blanket. So remember I said I was looking for another chunky weight ball from my stash to do a scalloped edge along the uh, original, sort of the existing white edge I gave it. Well, I couldn't find a chunky weight ball that I liked. So true to my own word, I am calling this done. I've woven in the ends and this is now my cozy rainbow chunky weight blanket. I am going to curl up under this in the coming cool weather. Apparently we're going to get some. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I'm going to be enjoying as I binge watch Ice Fantasy or whatever else my little heart desires <laughs> as the cold weather sets in. So I wanted to show you guys how the blanket turned out. I'm really pleased with it. I used 13 balls in total to make this blanket. Not a bad little bust through the chunky weight division of my yarn stash. And uh, yeah, there it is in all of its rainbow glory. <laughs> And that is it. Ding, 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 ding. I need like news flash music here or something. <laughs> Thanks for popping by. We will see you tomorrow and we'll see you on Monday. Enjoy your long weekend. Pray for cooler weather. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.